Welcome everyone. Um, this is what we'll be going through today. We'll be uh, getting you to share how are you. Not all of you, of course. I'm getting some of you to share how you are so far and how you're looking forward to the um, holidays. And uh, later on, I'll be sharing the HBL survey that we have done last week. Also, the pre-holiday poll, uh, the three questions, and also um, the checking kit for you. And then uh, Miss Pisa will come in and do the holiday care package. And then the last thing is what you can do in your May holidays to make it more fun and interesting because this is our very own, this is our very first May holiday since the start of I don't know when. Okay, we never had May holidays before this is our first May holiday. So it's special in its way. Okay, so uh, we want to make it special, we want to keep it special because I doubt in your lifetime, or uh, hopefully touch wood really in your lifetime, it won't happen again. Hopefully the May is all, the holidays always in June. Okay, so uh, if it's so special, let's do something special about it and let's make let put it down into um, record and then make it something make it uh, permanent so that we can always think about it in the future. Right, so let's start on this. Let's get one boy and one girl to share their feelings about HBL so far. So I'm gonna choose who is gonna speak. Okay, let me see who's here. Maybe we get Kavya. You wanna start the ball rolling? Kavya, can you unmute your mic? and tell us how do you feel about HBL so far and how, what's your feeling about HBL, uh, about your holidays that's coming up. Okay, so Kavya, I mean your mic, tell us about how you're feeling. Uh, I'm feeling good so far. Mm -hmm. Do you have any problems with HBL? Uh, nothing that really. So if you, so during times that you have some trouble with HBL, let's say Google Meet cannot connect, cannot find an assignment, who, who do you look for when it comes to seeking help? Uh, sometimes my father or brother. Uh, father, but I think uh, if you all don't know, uh, Kabe has a brother in P5, so they are all doing the same thing. So they will roughly know what to do for each other. Now let's get someone else to share. How do you feel about holidays coming up, Nabil? Happy. Happy, but it's circuit breaker time. How what what's there to be happy about? Because I don't really do circuit breakers. What do you mean by you don't really do circuit breaker? You don't obey the 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 restrictions or the measures or what? No. What do you mean? For example, do you not wear a mask when you go out? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Okay, for the rest of you, you must wear your Mask. Okay, I think they're very serious on it. People are getting fined and everything. Okay, so if you go out, unless you're going out for exercise, okay, then you can wear. But uh, if you are not going out for exercise, you're just going to uh, NTUC or anywhere. Even now, if you go to NTUC, you've so been to NTUC recently, you realize that you need to use your IC. Go, you can't just walk inside empty handed. You need to have an IC or a documentation. And for you guys, a bit more difficult means you must bring along an easy link card. Okay, which is more difficult. All right, so. Um, you are happy that holidays are starting. I'm too, I'm sure. Uh, Miss Pisa also. I'm just happy that his girl is ending. I'm sure you guys are happy too. Okay, so with that, let's move on to the next part that I'm going to share with you. Okay, the next part is um, on the survey that, then, uh, before we go to the survey, okay, you realize that HBL period is not just for most of you just waking up, doing HBL, doing physical homework go and sleep, the next day start all over again. No, some of you do interesting things. I know there's a high Raya card, high Raya poster. Some of your work are selected. Some of you, after drawing, um, Madam Ashikin asked you to color. Okay, and then um, may maybe some of these will be posted on Facebook. Okay, and I think I shared this with most, some of you, they're in Padlet and also your parents. Some of you are not just doing HBR and just doing HBR. Some of you are also um, doing more physical stuff like um, I think Alyssa, I don't know whether Alyssa is here now, but Alyssa has this um, seven day challenge thing, 60 seconds. So um, just do simple exercises for 60 seconds, whether about climbing staircase, um, doing squats, doing lunges, that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, if you can follow her, you will get a, you get a digital badge or something, if I'm not wrong. She's not here to talk more about it, so I uh, can't get her to share. Okay, just let me check if she's around. I don't think she's around, but let's say if she's around, no, she's not around now. Okay, but if she's around, we can get her to share more. We can get her to share more when school reopens. Okay? So there are things that you do other than HBL. Sometimes we don't know, but do share with us the things you do other than HBL because I'm sure you can't just stay at home and look at computer all day long. Okay, I, I can't. I need to bring my kid for a walk. No. 
Okay, so um, the survey on HBL that we have done last week, there was this survey that was on, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, Google Form. The Google Form, there was a survey, there was a few questions that you have to answer. So uh, I'm going to share with you the results quickly. Um, some, some I don't really understand why, so I'm going to ask you. Okay, so what you enjoy most about HBL is that you love, you, you love chatting with friends and teachers online. For me, my classes, I know it's about Palette, or I think uh, Madam Hana's class is about uh, Google Meet, and I think other teachers, they also have Google Meet. So you love this kind of chatting. Okay, of course, um, some teachers have more time to chat. Some teachers, is just you have to move your mic and then just go through a lesson. But I'm sure at every lesson, there'll be a time for you to ask questions, and that's where you can chat with your teachers and friends online, especially before the lesson or after the lesson. Okay, you love Google Meet. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't do much Google Meet. I did more of recording of videos on YouTube because I don't think um, doing live lesson is easy. Yeah, I, I, I've never done before, so I, I don't dare to do, but uh, something that we can try next time. Um, some of you will love getting quick feedback. I think class kick, class kick, some of you like Yu Jia, like Xuan He, like Nabil, like Meaning, some of them. If you've got problems, straight away tell me on palette and I can go straight inside and I can teach you straight away. I can't do that for everyone. But for those who need help, uh, that's the thing we can do. Um, you love completing SLS assignment. Interesting. You love to complete work at your own pace. Okay, some of you take very long to do. Some of you can do things very fast. Okay, so there are, there are a variety of strengths that you have. Okay, so that's something that is good. Okay, so these are the things you like about HBR. Um, what tools you have used? I'm sure everyone uses SLS to get here. You have to go SLS for sure. Get here, you have to go uh, Google Classroom or go to Gmail. Um, class kick palette we have used. I think palette is because of me every time science lesson, math lesson, there's palette, even for Madam Hana's class. Near pod, I'm sure it's Madam Hana. Um, Google Meet, Madam Hana, and um, Google Classroom, I think other class, other subject teachers as well. So you are quite good at this already. Before HBL, you realize that we are all not very good. Uh, even Mr. Wong, I'm not good at class kick, I only pick up at the last, at the week before HBL. Nearpod, I'm still not very good, that's why you don't see me using Nearpod, but um, this HBL period forces us, everyone, to learn. This, you realize this HBL period also forces you to remember all your passwords. Okay, last time we always have a problem of you remembering your password. What is the SLS password? Is it the T something, something, something? Okay, so uh, this is a period where it's, it kind of pushes us to do something that we, we don't do usually. Okay, we don't, some of you don't go and memorize your password. Now, every day you use SLS password, you don't even need to refer to your school diary anymore. So, these are the things that HBL forces us to do, and it makes us even better at what we do. Okay, so uh, this is the one that's interesting. Um, you love Pella a lot. I guess it's because you guys love to talk to each other. You, you like Google Me a lot because you can see each other, you can talk to each other, you can talk to, talk to a teacher, see a teacher. Okay, Nearport, SLS, Google Classroom, these are places that you get your resources to learn. Okay, and that's why I think you like it the most. Surprisingly, class kit is not here. And you realize later, class kit will be there later. Okay, most difficult to use. Oh, this is this is a shocking to me. You're not very shocked, but I, I roughly know that it's difficult to use. Some of you say class kit is the most difficult to use because it's hard to control. I agree, especially come to maths. But I think MCQ is okay. If I ask you to do your work without showing working, without showing model, I think it will be easier. But this is maths. I need to see it. So I, I cannot run, you cannot run away from it. You need to click a lot of times, very hard to use pen mode using mouse. I understand. Um, for me, myself, I know it's difficult. I actually got myself a stylus, something to draw with. It's like a pen. I can draw on the, on the computer. It's easier. I know you guys are difficult, um, but luckily for the second topic, which is length, there's less um, working to do, there's less models to do, much easier for you. you need to draw models and working. Sorry, it's maths. I need to see them. Um, tend to lag. Okay. Uh, yeah, class kit tend to like, I agree. Okay, so I can't do anything about it, but this is the only platform that I can use. Although some of you, you have seen your siblings taking photo and then putting on it. Actually, you just did that. Um, actually, who else? Um, Alyssa and Shen Her, actually, the parents sent me pictures of their computer work. It works also, but uh, I just want you to be very good at trying class kit so that in time to come, let's say after HBL, let's say, um, hopefully there's no HBL anymore, but let's say, other time over the weekend, over March holiday, December holiday, whatever holidays, you can still use ClassKit to do some small little work here and then using ClassKit. So at least you need to know how to use, how to navigate stuff like that, how to choose color, 
choose uh, pen mode, choose highlighter mode. Okay, challenges. This is the one that we are very uh, concerned about. Some of you don't understand the written instructions. I agree. That's the limitation of HBL. In school, we can always tell you in many different ways. We phrase what we say until the point of time you understand what we are saying. But for HBL, um, that's the difficult part. Uh, we can only say by writing it down. Of course, Google Meet, some of you um, can seek clarification on Google Meet, which is good. Um, too, my, too many hours doing the assignments every day. You realize HBL is more tiring than school. HBL, although there's only like four subjects every day, okay, a bit more, maybe got P and R, but you spend a lot more time completing the assignments every day, okay, which is tiring, I understand. Okay, so that's the thing about HBL, because you're learning at home, you got more, you can manage your time. School don't end at 1.30 per se for you. So especially those who are coming back to school for the last two weeks, you realize that most of them cannot finish their work because they must finish by 12, if not, they have to go home. Slow internet connection, um, I, I know a few days, during HBL, the actually Starhub actually uh, got some issues. I was affected as well. So um, sometimes the internet is slow. You can't ask a friend for answers or you can't ask a friend how to do, unlike in school. In school, you have a shoulder partner to talk to. If you don't know, you can always pick over. You can always ask a friend to teach you. So that's a problem. Too many hours on learning device. Um, yeah, your eyes, you get short-sighted. Okay, so do take breaks. Okay, do take breaks. Don't just do one shot for hours. Okay, that's not the best thing to do. And um, Unlike school time, you can always ask a teacher, like you can always ask me over on HPL. If you can ask us still, but the help may not be immediate. Some of you, you will get the help immediately. Some of you have to wait. Or some of you, it's very hard to get your teacher's attention. In school, just raise your hand, teachers will come. Over here, you raise your hand, teachers may not even know because you can't really see it. All right? So um, who do you approach for help? Parents, that's your... Uh, parents are now also at home. Some of our parents are at home because of circuit breaker. So parents are the one that uh, you seek help from. But as I told your parents, um, I want you to rely on yourself as much as possible. So uh, even coming to Google Meet, I want you to do it by yourself. Okay, um, teachers, especially when they're online, siblings, if you have siblings that is in the same school, or friends when you check on ballot, okay, or you have your friend's handphone number, or whatever else. Okay, there. So, you, so it's very important to seek help. Don't say, um, oh, shucks, I cannot get to SRS. Oh, today I don't do SRS. You must always try to overcome the problem, problem solve. Hey, what do you think you have learned um, on through HBL skills? Just what you said, um, maybe how to navigate through all the different um, internet tools. You learn knowledge, you learn all the subjects, definitely. Habits of mind, um, you seek clarity when you don't understand something. You uh, you listen to other people's comments, for example, just now when Kabya and Nabil shared, uh, and you, you you stop thinking and do you think is it is this really what the teacher wants and stuff like that? And you are and you strive for accuracy in your work, for example. So different HOM comes in at different juncture of the HPL. So I this what you have reflected. So uh, this is the sad part. What do you miss the most? Uh, you miss your friends. I'm sure you miss your friends. Now you can only stay your sibling. Some of you are alone. You don't have siblings. You are the only child. You can only stare at your parents or your or your pets. Okay, um, friends, classmates, schoolmates, very important support structures. So the school is not just about learning, learning, learning. It's also about interaction. And that's what makes school so special. You say, teacher, um, if I have HPL, that means school can close down, right? I can just learn on the internet. But you realize school is just more than teaching. It's also about interaction. Um, how you build friendships, how you um, take care of one another. That is something that cannot take place online. Playing during recess, uh, now, now you can't even play, at most you can take a walk outside, but you can't play really outside anymore, you can't go and swim, you can't go to the field. Um, we miss the teachers, thank you very much, you miss us. We miss you too, we miss, the, we miss talking to you instead of a screen, okay? we, we want to talk to you. Okay? Even talking to you through a screen and hearing your voice, it's, not, it's nothing similar compared to talking to you, looking at you yourself, your physical body. Okay, so um, this is the pre-holiday poll, there's three questions here. Um, most of you are looking forward to relaxing during holidays, which is good. Okay, uh, nothing much I want to say over here, but it's good that you are uh, happy that holiday is coming. I'm happy too. I'm sure everyone is happy. Um, however, some of you have worries when you start holidays next week. Um, different sort of worries. Later on, we'll get some of you to perhaps share with us your worries. Um, it's holidays. Unlike other holidays, um, this time around your holiday, you can't go overseas, you can't go out far. Uh, you have to stay at home. So maybe the worry is that 
form of worry. And the last one, which is the most important one to ask teachers is that some of you are, don't have someone to turn to for support when you are sad, when you are worried or when you are stressed during holidays. Okay? Uh, most importantly, at home, it is your parents, it is your grandparents that form the support structure. So don't be afraid of um, going to your parents for help. Ask them, talk to them. Okay? Now is the time that you can talk to them as much as you can. Because they are at home, your grandparents are at home, and you are at home, talk to them. Okay, um, let them know more about you, how you're feeling, because for you, HBR is new to you, for them, working from home is also new for them. So uh, we have all our challenges, but I think as a family, um, I believe we can all go through this. Okay? So um, I do seek support. I mean, if family-wise, you don't have anyone to talk to, you can always come back to the teachers, the teachers will be around. You can drop us an email, all of you are in Google Classroom already. You drop us an email, we'll check the email periodically. Or um, you can call the school. Miss Peck, Miss Isa is always there online um, to talk to you if you need help. Okay, so if you need support, for example, maybe something happened in your family, stuff like that. If you need someone to talk to, feel free to talk to us if you know one to talk to. Okay, but definitely go for your parents, go for your siblings, but because they know you the best. Okay? And, and talking to you over screen is different from talking to you face to face. Okay, this is the how are you checklist, uh, check in kit. I'm not going to go in detail, but I'm just going to share things that you can really do um, in the weeks coming up, which is a holiday. So you see four bears there. One is a happy bear. One is a um, okay bear. One is a moody bear, the third one, and one is a like, very scared bear. How many of you are the happy bear now for this term? Thumbs up if you have a happy bear. Okay, I know Kabel is a happy bear. I know Coco is a happy bear. Uh, who else is a happy bear? Saruni is a happy bear. Uh, Eva is a happy bear. Who is uh, okay, not very happy, but still feeling good? Who is the feeling good bear? Isabel, you are what bear? Feeling good bear. Are you a feeling good bear, Isabel? Or you're a happy bear because you're laughing? Okay, a lot of you soon is a feeling good bear. Okay, good. Who is a moody bear? The third bear, moody. Like, a lot of worries and everything, moody. Ashraf, are you a moody bear? I'm a moody bear now. Stanley, you're a moody bear. Nivistri, you're a moody bear. You're a moody bear also. I'm always a moody bear. You're always, no, I always see you jumping around. I think you're a happy bear. But I think this term HBL makes you a moody bear, perhaps. Uh, who is a worried, stiff bear? Shaking. Who is shaking for me? Shake in front of the camera. Shake. Not me. It's a bit of a shake. It's about your scary cat, scary bear, is it? Okay, I think at, at different point of time, we we are these four bears. I think now we are all happy bear. At the start of HBR, when we don't know how to go Google Meet, when we don't know how to use Classkit, we are a scary bear. And then um, some of you, when um, towards the middle of HBR, don't see your friends, you become a moody bear. And then uh, now, once in a while, you see your friends, you become a happy an okay bear, a happy bear, okay? Because you know that your friends are near, you can get to your friends through online ways, okay? So that is um, all bears, okay? So let me just go back to my slides and let's continue. All right, so these are around the corner, definitely. It actually starts tomorrow, two holidays. I will run through this with you again. Uh, you might be disappointed that there are certain things you cannot do during the holidays because this is a main holiday. It's a real special holiday. But with a little bit of creativity, for each other and offer for your family, you can make this holiday fun and interesting. So we're going to share with you some tips to make this circuit breaker, circuit breaker holiday or what we call May holiday a bit more fun and interesting for you guys instead of just waking up, sleeping, waking up, sleeping and doing nothing else. Okay, so um, later on, uh, Miss Tinda will share with you certain things you can do to keep yourself positive. Uh, later she will share on the holiday care pack. But Whatever it is, if you're feeling very scared, anxious, worried from your elder brother and sister, and if you want to, you can also um, email us and try to check in between um, days to see whether anyone of you email us to talk to us. Okay? Okay, um, you are not in school, we are all far away. Some of you living in just opposite the school, some of you living far, far away. Um, you might not be in school with a classmate, but you can still show them you care. You can send a flying heart. You can see what I'm doing. I'm like flying, hugging all of you. Okay, this is the hug that is permitted because I don't touch you. Okay, so you can send a flying hug. Okay, now I think on Facebook there's a new emoji. 
like it's a hug emoji so you can also do that you can, you can show them that you care you can post it on panel if you want to so with your parents permission some of you have your friends phone number house phone number or even handphone number you can always call your friend up not to talk over like hours and hours but to just you know message them and stuff like that okay and you can share about what you've been doing at home some of you have been doing interesting things at home like Alyssa for example okay so um again there are hotlines that you can call but trust me you don't want to get to that stage always um talk to your parents talk to your teachers and then if all else fails because you can't contact us then you um go for other ways of communication okay um now you are super good at going online going to sls class kit google meet all sorts of devices all sorts of technology but something i want you to take note is when you go online please remember to stay safe this is something that i feel is lacking in you guys for 3c i mean in school we've been talking about cyber wellness cyber etiquette how to behave in social media but or, or, or online per se but i think a lot of views yes you know about this but you don't you don't practice it okay um i have cases where you guys make not say a nasty comment but um not as good comment to someone and then make someone feel bad feel lousy i have people like class cake hack into one each other's account i have that also and then destroy your friend's work i have that too i don't know why you want to do that but that's not being right because if you're on the receiving end you won't feel good i have people that for class cake also um log in as a very weird account weird account name and write things that you shouldn't write on it okay i see them okay please understand everything you do online teachers can see sls Neopod, google meet google classroom class kit we all can see what you do online so some of you are doing that luckily not a lot of you just some of you okay so make sure that everything we have taught you in school about social about cyber wellness cyber etiquette how to behave online you practice it that's the most important okay um if you are talking to people online whether is it face facebook Instagram, Twitter, whatever not tools you're using, make sure you are, you know who you're talking to. Okay, like for example, today you join into Google Meet, I have to approve you before you come in. And some of you said, uh, Darwish, please change your name to a proper name. Correct. That's the right thing to do for proper meet, meet up. Okay, you don't use your nickname. Okay, don't share your password. Okay, now all of you know your password already. Don't forget it. Uh, we will try to use a lot more in the future after HBL so that you do not forget your password. A lot of fake news going on, a lot of scams, especially now circuit breaker period. There's a lot of scams and fake news. Make sure you use the official sources. Better the time you spend online and offline, do not just do your class kit work, do also your physical homework, and also spend time to look into the sky because now your eyes will be very like, because of so many digital, so many times in front of the screen, your eyes may, may be very tired. So maybe you want to just look up on the screen, stare into the sky, stare across the block, okay, to rest your eyes for a while. So if you're online, I know some of our parents are with you when you're online, um, ask parents for permission. Don't just automatically open up your laptop every morning when you wake up and start surfing the net. Tell them which sites you're going to and what for. Is it for learning or is it just for playing? Nothing wrong with playing. I know you guys like to play Roblox, so you guys like to play Minecraft, that sort of thing. Nothing wrong with doing that, but always tell your parents, no, okay, I'm going to play from 9 to 10, full stop. Or maybe a bit more, 9 to 10, 30. And then you stop there, you don't get addicted to it. Okay? So take care of your health um, at home. Sometimes you can get sick mm -hmm. even more easily. Oh, it's not exercising anymore. There's no PE lesson. So stay active like what Lisa is doing. Um, for those fasting, take care of yourself. I know you can't drink water, but whenever you break fast and do wake up early enough to have food before you start fasting, um, sleep is the most important. So um, this time around, I think fasting is much easier, but fasting itself is not easy uh, because you're still very young. So uh, I know some of you have started fasting already, which is good. Some of you not fasting, okay. But I think you will try a little bit of fasting here and there. I'm sure parents will do that. Okay, so main thing is keep yourself healthy. Okay, so spending time at home, we have a good chance to do things for our family. Uh, you can do a values in action project. For example, you can help out your parents um, to do uh, housework and sort of things. Okay, so again, later for the holiday care pack, uh, Ms. Lisa will talk more about this. Um, some things we do at home doesn't mean have to be always online, some can be offline. Ms. Visa will share to you about this. And uh, this is what Ms. Visa will share. And so I think without further ado, I'll get Ms. Visa to share. So this is a holiday care pack for primary three to primary six. 
So what is in this care pack? Okay, let's look at, uh, we can skip this. All right, so the first um, activity in this care pack is called Stay Positive. Okay, it's basically a checklist that you can do. You can get your parents to help you with this one. And you can tick on the checklist of what um, you could do at home. Okay, and what have maybe some of you actually you have been doing. For example, keeping a regular routine. I think for HBL, right, all of us in the morning will do HBL all the way to the afternoon. So that is a regular routine. And there are other activities that you could do. And you could do that as a checklist. So maybe you could also play with your friend. So who has the most number of things in your checklist? Okay. And then there are also other activities that we'll share with you. Okay, so next, let's look at the next activity that they have for us. Aha, uh -huh, okay, connect with your friends. So this one is like what Mr. Wong had shared just now. If you have um, a way for you to connect with your friends, I don't know, maybe via online, or maybe you have uh, their phone numbers, you can actually do this with your friends. So an example given was maybe you choose a color day. Bye-bye. Maybe today is, what do you today? I forget today. Okay, maybe on Friday. On Friday, the both of you decide to wear blue. So you can take photo and then you can show each other that you're wearing the same color. So this is basically what you can do with your good friends. You may not be able to meet up, but you are able to do something together online. Okay? So, uh, and then there's also the simple friend um, online, which what Mr. Wong said just now should be the last resort. You should always look out for your parents and, and your siblings and maybe your teachers, okay, before you go for some help with this little friend. Okay, the next one is, okay, I am reiterating what Mr. Wong has just said, okay, stay safe online, please. Um, do not share. I think I have gone through this during a FGP lesson before, remember? Okay, I see some notes. Thank you very much. Okay, I already talked to you about staying safe online. Do not talk to strangers online. Especially when, even during Google Meet, uh, if you don't see, the reason why the teachers will tell you to on your cameras is because so that we can see you and we know that it's a real you and not someone else. Okay, so whenever you use Google Meet or Zoom, make sure that you know the person, you see the person. Okay, don't just believe them by hearing, okay? So make sure your parents know that you are using Google Meet or Zoom or any platform, let's say. Okay, so fake news, I've gone through these scams and do not, please do not share your password, even if it's with your best friend. Okay, please do not share your password. Uh, there's also a, que uh, a quiz right there at the bottom. If you know how to scan, you can actually take the quiz online. Alright, stay healthy. This is in line with actually the PE department, right? Where you guys have to draw your plates, if I'm not wrong. So this is um, actually teaching you how to stay healthy at home. Even though you may not be able to go out and exercise, you can still exercise at home. That's like uh, the time was being shared, right? Alisa did the 60 second challenge every day. So yeah, so you could, um, you have to drink six to eight glasses of water daily. For those who are fasting, like, like me, uh, we can have our daily intake of water in the morning and then also at night so we would have enough water don't worry about that and of course eat a balanced meal and sleep please do not just play roblox and any online games and then do not sleep okay please take your nap and sleep All right so yes yeah, sleeping is very important so that you when you do your hbl i hope that you have been doing it uh you are doing it with a very fresh mind okay you can accept whatever is being taught online all right, the next one. Don't worry, you can read all this up. It will uh, is on your SLS, so you can read all this up later on. All right, so do our part for our family. Please do. Uh, first thing first, take care of yourself, which is to always clean up 
wash your hands whenever you touch something and also to help your parents at home keep everything clean do whatever you could since you're at home now most of the time anyway okay action at home yeah you could uh, click on the link and then you could see what you can do at home okay so for family activities um apart from connecting with your friends online you could connect with your family by having these family activities right here they are there are a lot more actually these are just four examples that you give five examples that you can do with your family at the comfort of your home, your own home and then okay this is art activities online so um i do not know if any of you may or may not um be was supposed to participate in SYF but uh, since SYF is cancelled they are actually going online with it so some of uh, the students are actually doing SYF online so what you can do you can go to uh, this particular website and then you can look through at the activities that they're doing based on the Singapore Youth Festival okay So these are other useful uh, art resources like for music. You can just click on the link that they have given. This is for art. There's a lot of activities you can do, okay? And this one for dance and drama. If you're interested, to, if you want to move, if you keep on sitting on the chair you might want to stand up and move so you could click on the link yeah okay so besides what i have shared besides what miss visa has shared all the links and everything all the files is already assigned to you on sls click it download it um the files are there okay so you you can so this holiday like every other holiday actually there's a lot of things to do it's just whether you can explore so now even if you cannot step out of your house there are things you can do online things that you can do with your hands your art and craft you can do something okay so it's life's not going to be boring you're not going to watch channel 5 channel 8 that sort of thing surya basantam over and over again but there are things you can do okay so definitely life is going to be more fun because now this is a different period okay um i have this as i talked about cyber awareness just now so um this game is was shared with me on facebook uh it's actually by google um it's actually a very 3d game okay it's not those um very boring game this is super fun to play with okay, it's a 3d game as you can see on the picture it's a 3d thing um it's very fun but i think from the fun what is more importantly is you know uh, how to prevent yourself from being affected by fake news how to prevent yourself from being affected by scams how to behave properly online that sort of thing so this is what we what, what they call interland be internet awesome so this is the internet land and through the game should be internet awesome stuff like that so i'm not going to show you i'm going to let you explore by yourself but this is the link don't have to copy the link i'll be sending you the link tomorrow onwards every tuesday i'll send some links to you for for entertainment or for you to pursue other things in your subjects as well um your holiday homework yes there is holiday homework yes there is holiday homework okay so um but this is not the usual math science english mother tongue uh, homework that you always have i want you to document down on sls i will create the link to i will create the lesson tomorrow I want you to document the interesting things you have done on your very first May holiday. This is my first May holiday. It's going to be interesting. I will make it interesting. It's a choice. This is your first May holiday since I think P1, P2, P3. You are lucky or unlucky, whatever way you want it to be, to have a May holiday. So this is your very first May holiday. I want you to make it interesting. I want you to take, I want you to take pictures of all the interesting things that you will be doing during holidays. Um, you say, teacher, but my life very boring one. No, no one's life is boring. You definitely will be doing interesting things with your siblings, with your pets, with your parents. I don't believe every day you just stay at home, look at your parents, parents go back at you and that's it. Definitely you'll be doing interesting things. Maybe not every day, but when it happens, make sure you take pictures of, of them. And then I want you to upload onto SLS the lesson per se that I'll be creating tomorrow. So in that lesson, I will, I'll give you a chance to upload pictures interesting things you be, that you have done or will be doing during the holidays to write a short description of it so what happens is that when, after you take the pictures you upload on sls in that lesson I'm, that i'm going to create i want you to write a short description of it so that you know what you are doing and i want you to uh share your feelings like how you feel 
uh, when you're doing that activity per se. You might be doing arts and crafts, you might be cleaning up the house for Hari Raya, whatever not. Okay, things that you usually don't, don't do. Okay, don't take job yourself eating, of course. Okay, so um, in May, there are things that are happening. I think this weekend is Mother's Day. So most of your mothers are at home. Most of your mothers have been helping you out for HBL. So I really want you to show your appreciation for Mother's Day. You don't have to only post one picture. You can post many different pictures of many different interesting things you do. And then when we come back to school during FDGP, we can talk about all the interesting things you do. So this weekend, if I'm not wrong, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Um, you can, you, you, let's see how your family celebrate Mother's Day. Uh, celebration don't have to be like a lot of cake, a lot of food. You can actually give your parents a hug. And I think that hug and that thank you that you say uh, is more than enough to your mom. Okay, Bisa Day for the Buddhists out there. If, I don't know how you're going to celebrate it, but if you're celebrating it, um, show me how you celebrate it. Okay, Bisa Day is a Buddhist um, religious festival. Um, Hari Raya Puasa, um, I mean half of the class are Muslims. So every day we will break fast or in certain days where you break fast together as a family or extended family over Google Meet, for example, share with us how you do that and share with us the food that you have during Hari Raya, Hari Raya Puasa, all the dates, all the drinks and everything. So all in all, write down a short description of all the interesting things you have done, take pictures of it, post it on SLS, and share your feelings, and we'll relook at it um, during FTGP. So my final slide for today, uh, nothing, this might be my last slide, this is about admin. Um, everything being constant, everything sticking to what it is happening now, um, holiday starts tomorrow, we don't call it June holidays anymore, we call it May holiday, and when you come back, okay, let, let's talk about when it ends first. So it starts tomorrow, holiday starts tomorrow. So tell your parents, tomorrow holiday starts. Today is the last day of HBL. Tomorrow, don't need to wake up at 8.30 to go SLS anymore. Okay, don't need. Okay, but if you want to, I'm not stopping you, especially for those that have work that is like a backlog of work from HBL. Okay, so tomorrow holiday starts. Um, it won't be exactly one whole month, as you can see the, the dates, it's not like fifth. It will end on 1st June. That is also the date where circuit breaker that's also the last day of circuit breaker okay so holiday starts tomorrow will end on first june monday so you don't come back to school on monday yet monday is the last day of uh, circuit breaker more information i will tell you on the week before school opens but of course um if things go sour if things turn sour and um hopefully not uh, let's say the cases go up again then um, this day will be further adjusted once again you will hear on the news your parents will know about it but all being all being so, um, holiday starts tomorrow and on Monday, 1st June. Okay, simple as that. So that's the end of my slide. So now is the time. Um, let me just spend just 10 more minutes to just talk to you. Um, okay, let me just see you first. Okay, now I'm seeing you. You can see me. Okay. Hi, everyone. Okay. So um, really make use of your holiday um, this coming May. Okay. Um, don't make it a sad holiday. Things are very sad already. You can't go out. So I'll make it fun for you guys, okay? Uh, this is what I want to do. Uh, I, want you, I want you to say something encouraging to your friends before you leave. So I'm not going to let you leave just like that. I want you to say something encouraging to your friends um, before holiday starts. You want to say, I love you guys. I want, uh, you want to give a flying hug to your friends. I don't know what, whether you can see what I'm doing or not. You can give a flying hug to your friends, okay? So I just want you to um, say something positive to your friends to cheer them up or let's start this holiday on a high note okay so let's get started uh Hello. let's get yes ashraf are you talking yeah. so is it stanley or ashraf so. stanley yes stanley. yes stanley uh i wish everyone is healthy mm -hmm. okay so and stanley wish everyone is healthy Okay, and stay healthy, okay? So, okay, so like what Stanley is doing, each of you take turns. One person can only say one time, and then after you say already, uh, you can leave the topic, okay? So, Stanley, you can leave already. Um, can we get who wants to go next? Ashraf, Ashraf, say. Ashraf, say something positive to your friends. Don't forget to wash your hands. Okay, very good. Reminding of the super five. And what else? When, when you go out, wear a mask. Okay, wear a mask. Okay, remember to wear a mask when you go out. Very good, Ashraf. Thank you very much. You can go now. Okay, can. Bye-bye.
who else? You can only leave if you say something, right? you cannot leave, I will stop you from leaving. Mia, you want to start? Stay safe when you are online. Okay, stay safe online, very important. Thank you, Nasha. Uh, thank you, Mia. Stay healthy and stay strong. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yes, yes, yes. Keep your hands clean. Okay, keep your hands clean. Okay, can thank you, Let's go for here. Stay safe online and stay healthy. Stay safe, stay healthy online. Okay, uh, don't talk to strangers. Say again, can I hear you properly? Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to strangers. Okay, this is the same online or offline. Thank you, Hanif. Now we go to Sarudin. After that, we go to Eva. Sarudin first before Eva. Stay healthy and stay healthy. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you can go, Eva. Now your turn. I wish everyone is healthy and when you go out, you have to wear a mask. Okay, very good. Okay, I think um that that's I think you have to do that now is the law, but also I think um do do go out if you need to, but not for fun. Uh. Just walk yeah. around and you go through, I think it's fine. Everyone take care and have enough sleep. Very good, take care, everyone else sleep, okay, especially now no more HBR, I'm sure you can sleep more. Um, keep your hands clean, always. Okay, alright, keep your hands clean, thank you very much. Always wash your hands. Uh-huh. Okay, wash your hands, okay, I think washing your hands, wearing a mask is the two main things you can do to protect yourself, also protect your family from um, the virus So Thank you, Nibistri. Stay safe, stay Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Yeah, very good. I think that's also the tagline of MOE as well. Well done. Okay, thank you, Shen He. Okay, come. Shen Yong Hao. Shen, I think it was very difficult for you to come online, right? A lot. I think I took one hour to explain to your mom how to get on get to Google Meet. But never mind. Uh, at least now you know how to go Google Meet, which is good. So yes. tell us something positive, Shen Yong. Need to stay healthy. Very important to stay healthy, okay? Especially now, um, you are just at home. Sometimes you can fall ill at home also because home environment is not as good as uh, outside in a sense, okay? So thank you, Sun Yong. Many holidays can be tough, but just stay happy. Yeah, I think it's, it's all about the mind, okay? You can choose to be happy. You can choose to just every day wake up and be groggy and everything. So um, choose to be happy, choose things to do to stay happy. Thank you very much, Shannon. Uh, anyway, if you want to talk to us, you can always drop us an email, okay? So with that, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Pizza. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye. Bye. Bye.